Question 16, part A. Write 8.2 times 10 to the power of 5 as an ordinary number. So we have 8.2, stupid pen, 8.2 times 10 to the power of 5. Now, as a general rule, I would then use that to say, right, I'm going to put five zeros on the end, just in case. But then, what we need to make sure that what happens when we multiply by 10 to the power of 5 is the decimal point s seems to jump. We know it's actually the numbers going the other way, but easy rule to remember is the decimal point jumps. So the number's getting bigger five times, so it goes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the decimal point would go there, giving us a number of 820,000. Part B, write 0 0.000376 in standard form. Standard form requires us to have a number between 1 and 10. So we're going to put a decimal point between the 3 and the 7 to give us 3.76 multiplied by 10. Now because the number is getting smaller, we're going to have to have a negative power to show that the number is getting smaller but how many times do we need to jump? So the decimal point has gone one, two, three, four places, so that would be negative four. Part C, work out the value of 2.3 times 10 to the 12 divided by 4.6 times 10 to the 3. Give your answer in standard form. Now this could be quite tricky. You could start writing out these numbers in full and then do a very, very long division. The way that I would approach this is to write it as a fraction. 2.3 times 10 to the 12 all divided by 4.6 times 10 to the 3. Now when we're looking at algebra and indices laws, we know that we can apply each separate part to itself. So 2.3 divided by 4.6, 23 divided by 46, it will still give the same answer. The bottom number is twice that of the bottom of the top number. So we're given a half or 0.5. What about the tens? We have 10 to the power of 12 divided by 10 to the power of 3. When you're dividing and the base number is the same, so in this case 10, you can take the powers away. So 0.5 to the power of 9 would be our answer. But at the moment that's not in standard form. We need to have a number greater than 1. So we have to move our decimal point one more place. So that becomes 5 times 10. Now because our number we've had to move this one place over here. Our 10 value decreases by 1 because we've already multiplied by 10 once. And the answer becomes 5 times 10 to the power of 8.